guys, welcome back to my channel. Come right in. If you're new here, my name is Progress, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, thank you also for subscribing to my channel. The 2000 subscriber giveaway is still ongoing. We're almost there. Let's get it, guys. All right, so today I'm going to be doing a story time because a lot of you guys have been asking me to put out a story time for you guys, and I decided to dig up you know from my archives and give you guys something funny and fun for you guys today now this story happened years ago while i was in college and i decided to share it with you guys so this happened during my freshman year in college it was during the fall semester and we were on a break the fall break of course and then i just came into the united states i didn't really know a lot of people because usually when you are on break a full week of break you don't want to be in school like who wants to be in school during break the point of a break is for you to get out of school you know i didn't really know a lot of people then i didn't really have a lot of friends then to go out to visit so i decided to stay back in school for a full week right and i had a classmate also that was in school too and i was just in my dorm one day i was like i'm bored i want to do something crazy i want to do something out of the box and I was like, okay, I need someone to sell me weed. I was like, mm -mm, nah, I'm too strong, I'm too good, I'm never, I'm never gonna get high. Like, no matter how much I smoke weed, which of course then I hadn't smoked weed before, but in my head I was like, no matter how much I smoke it, I'm never gonna get high. Like, I'm just immune to that stuff. I don't know how I thought I was immune to it. In my head, I just thought so. And so I had a course mate. I was like, yo, what's up? Like, you got anything? And then I went over to his dorm and he had a brownie, like a big old brownie. And me, I hate brownies with or without weed in them. I do not like it. But I was like, nah, like I'm trying to do something adventurous. I'm trying to, you know, get high and see if I can actually get high and, you know, prove to myself that I can never get high. And so I was in his room and I started eating the brownie, right? I ate a full brownie glazed with weed. And I was like, you see, sure, nothing is happening. Like I knew, I knew I can never get high. And later on, I was twitching. Like I was like, my body was like just moving. Like I was like, what, what? And like I was like, I was itching. I was like, what the heck is going on? And I, I was just like, I, I can remember like dozing off like I could I, I couldn't remember where I was I was confused but then I was like I don't think this is the weed maybe I'm just sleepy or something I was like guy bruh you got something like a something you know you got a blunt or something for me to smoke cuz I can't this brownie is not really doing nothing I, I, I still I was still twitching but I was like it hadn't registered in my head that it was kicking in already. I was like, nah, I want to smoke. Mind you, I had already finished a whole brownie. And as I then, it wasn't really kicking in. And then I smoked a blunt. That was when the problem happened. Like, I was twitching so bad. Like, I could feel myself move, but I couldn't control it. I was just moving like I was a crackhead. I was just moving. <laughs> I was just <laughs> moving. And I was like, yo, I wanna go to my dorm. I wanna go to my dorm. I was just like, I wanna go to my room. I wanna go to my room. And then he like he walked me to my room. I was like. <laughs> and we passed the security. I remember passing the security. I was trying to act like I was sane and normal, but I couldn't control it. Like if they had seen me. And the way I was walking back to my dorm room, they would have known that something was up with me and then I would have been in trouble. But so I was trying to act like I was okay, but then I couldn't control it. It's just... So I got to my room and I couldn't feel myself. Like, I couldn't feel myself. I, at that point, I was high as a kite. I thought I was dead. Like, I thought I was a ghost. So I got to my dorm room and I, I got inside my room and I laid down. I just, I felt like nobody could see me. I was yelling like, 
Anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody there? Nobody could hear me. I was like, oh my god, I am dead. So I went to my friend's room. I was like, help what up? Help me! Help me! Can you see me? And she opened, she was like, are you okay? I was like, oh, you can see me. And then I went to her, because she had a roommate and the roommate wasn't there. I think the roommate left or something for the fall break. And then I laid down on the bed of the roommate and the window was wide open. And something was just whispering in my ears like, jump out of this window. I promise you, if you jump, you can stand. You will fly. I was like, wait, 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 wait. So if I jump, I can fly? Wait, wait, so, so you're telling me that if I, if I jump, I will just fly? Mind you, the, my dorm, like three, like it was like a three-story building, right? The first, the second, and the third. And we were on the third. Imagine me flying from story building, thinking that I could actually land on my feet and like fly or something, you know? And I was like, wow, I was just looking like, oh my God, I can't fly. Like, at that point, I knew, I kind of knew what was going on with me, but I just couldn't control it. It's like, I was trapped in my head. Like, <laughs> it's like I was trapped. Like, I knew like I was about to do something stupid, but I couldn't control myself because I was so blacked out like high. And so I was like, oh my God, I can actually fly out of this window. And I was like, no, 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 I can't fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. I felt like my consciousness was trying to kick in, but then it would like go back in. It would kick in and go back in. And then I laid on the bed, I was like, Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die. I can't do this. Like I I just I, I didn't know what was going on with me. I didn't I, I I just felt like the world was crumbling and crashing. I didn't know that like I took too much weed. Like for a first time, you know, smoker, you were not supposed to take that much. You know, how would you take a whole brownie and then smoke a blunt and think you're gonna be okay, especially if it's your first time? And I was like my head was my head exploded completely exploded and then i went back to my room i couldn't sleep because i felt like if i slept in my room i was gonna die and not wake up and then i went back to my friend's room it was just a back and forth thing yo guys <laughs> let me tell you what i think about that experience i'm like i would never ever ever smoke weed again in my entire life one thing with me is i just need to do something one time to know i'm never gonna do it again like you have to try some things out to know if you're gonna like it or not and i did that thing the first time and my experience was completely terrible and horrible and i was like no you guys are good i don't know how i don't know how high you're trying to get i don't know what you're trying to forget i'm not i don't know the kind of feeling you're trying to you know feel but you do you boo if you feel like you know it makes you high and good and you feel great like you're in the sky good do you boo but that is not my thing that first time experience for me was it was it for me what if i had jumped off my thinking that i'll fly what would the school authorities tell my parents they probably would have said it was suicide or depression or something and nobody knew that i was high even my friend that i was in her room she didn't even know that i was high i was just in my head like I was just in my head, the voice was in my head telling me, girl, you better fly. Jump up this window and you're going to fly. Yo, I was feeling, I was like, I am going to fly. I will jump and stand. Yo, I was like, the way I was, my bed, the bed I laid on was next to the window. And I looked out the window, I was like, yes, I think I can do this. It's not that, it's not that high. I think I can fly. Like on a normal day, I would not look out my freaking dorm room window and be like, I can fly. I can fly. Nah, it was, a, I was, we were at the third floor. You know how, you know how dead I would have been? So that experience really just opened my eyes to the fact that it's not for me and I'm not even going to indulge in it again. It was a one time thing. I'm not going to say I regret it because I want to be able to say I tried it and I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to say, you know, I, I, I did it once and it was, it wasn't good, but I'm not going to do it again. You know, it is what it is. But that was my experience of wanting to jump off my college dorm room, thinking that I would fly like Superman. But I'm here today and I think that I did not fly. I am very grateful that I did not. <laughs> 
but uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have similar experiences I want to hear you guys like how did you feel the first time you smoked weed how was your experience with it were you were you did you feel like you were high were you like feeling good and you know because I know people take it for different reasons and people feel different ways when they smoke it so let me know your you know your experience with it your first time experience smoking weed in the comment section below let's laugh it off together because I'm pretty sure they are way way worse embarrassing stories than mine out there and I want to read it and I want to see it you guys and trust me it was the last experience because so girl is not going back yeah okay all right thank you so much for tuning into this video i just wanted to you know put a smile on someone's face out there and make you guys laugh i hope you guys laughed because back then it wasn't funny it wasn't funny at all but when i tell people they all oh, they are laughing they're cracking up like i'm the comedian of the year but back then i seriously thought i was fit to die okay it wasn't funny back then but you guys can laugh i give you guys permission to laugh as much as you guys want to laugh but if you guys haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe 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 because i'm gonna be posting a lot more videos and you can share this video and i want to read you guys' comments on you guys' experience if you haven't done it before don't do it don't do it <laughs> but <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna be seeing you guys pretty faces next video. Thank you guys, bye.